With this, we'll, we'll move on to the next session. And uh, this is uh, going to be an interesting one, to say the least. The past year has been a testament to the resilience of search as a medium. We all have done that. We've seen uh, uh, a lot of growth in how to do things uh, over your internet searches. Even during the pandemic, search marketing continued to be an area uh, of investment for brands and advertisers. What has evolved over time is the way in which brands advertise on search and leverage it innovatively to build brand awareness. The digital arsenal for search is well equipped with mediums such as voice, vernacular, and video that can help brands to enhance their audience engagement and build authentic personal experiences. In this fireside chat, uh, we have Mr. Rohit Dosi, Director, Microsoft Editor, Movi, who's in conversation with Mr. Anand Padmarkar, CEO of Densu India, and they will be discussing innovative brand building with search. I welcome uh, Anand and Rohit both on dais. I'll hand over to Rohit. Hey, hi, thank you. Uh Hi, everyone. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for that introduction and, and a very warm welcome to all of you who have joined uh, us for this fireside chat. Uh, hope you all are doing well, staying safe, and also getting your vaccinations done. Uh, I would also like to invite you, Anand. Uh, you know, uh, thank you for uh, being here with us. Great to have you. And I'm looking forward to hosting this chat with you, hoping for Hi, hi. Uh, good evening, everyone. And uh, Roy, pleasure to be here. Looking yeah. forward to this chat now. So, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so just Anand, before we get into the conversation, just setting the context here, uh, the theme of the conversation today is innovative brand building using search, right? And I think the past year has been extraordinary for everyone, right? I think uh, it has been crazy for marketers out there to kind of, you know, figure out what to do, what not to do, because it's, it was a new one for everyone, right? And, and I think during these times, Search as a medium remained uh, remained very strong, right? I think even uh, when at the onset of the pandemic, there was a dilemma for everyone in terms of redefining their marketing strategies, right? How to look at budgets even then. But then search continued to be an area of investment for brands and advertisers. And I think what has evolved now over time is in the way which in the way in which brands are now using search advertising, right? We have worked with multiple clients now leveraging brands for uh, search for creating brand awareness. Right? They're using the medium very, very innovatively to kind of, you know, build on top of what their brand awareness is right now, right? And then now search being equipped with a multiple uh, technological advancements, right? And a lot of that happening around voice and vernacular, right? I think brands can leverage search to enhance their audience engagement and also build authentic and personal experiences for their consumers. So I think with that context, right, I will kickstart this conversation with you, Anand. And my first uh, question to you is, that according to the recent Dan report, right, search is the second most invested digital medium, uh, both across PC and mobile. And like I mentioned during the pandemic, right, uh, search marketing continued to be, continue to evolve and be an area of investment. So my question is, how has the marketing toolkit evolved for brands when it comes to building awareness specifically? See, uh, uh, during pandemic or over the last few years itself, uh, digital has been growing quite uh, aggressively. Internet penetration has uh, increased means with the data rates coming down uh, with, with introduction of geo or, and then uh, uh, the all uh, uh, evolution over there. The internet accessibility became very, very sort of uh, easy for, for the market. And almost 50% of uh, our, our population, means 1.3 billion is the population of India. Almost 650 million uh, users are there on the internet, and they all are there out uh, on internet searching or looking for something or the other as, as they sort of they are accessing, be it through YouTube or be it on Amazon or everywhere. The pandemic definitely what it has done is it has changed the habits. Uh, the big big shift is the consumer behavior which changed in the last year, and that's something which is helping the search or it's helping the brands and, and uh, advertisers also when we are reaching out to the consumers, how to go and target now. And with digital being at the forefront, and as you said, right during pandemic, digital was the only medium. In a damn report also, you would have seen that. That uh, digital was the only medium which has grown during pandemic in 2020 or over the previous year. So that's something which has helped gain much more prominence for digital, the way digital has been a part of the entire marketer's toolkit, because that becomes a key uh, uh, component of the way you are reaching out to the consumers. Uh, what's changed quite, quite big time is during pandemic, uh, consumers getting onto e-commerce, the social commerce, or, or uh, your day-to-day -day, uh, buying 
your viewing habits, everything has undergone a change and it's moved more onto digital consumption. Uh, E-commerce platforms have become very prominent. Your Amazon, Flipkart, and others have started uh, playing a big role. And search has evolved over the years. Earlier, it used to be Google being the buzzword for search. From there, it's, it's sort of moved on. And obviously, uh, with e-commerce getting on to a, a layer on the top of that, I think that's something which is becoming more and more important for uh, the brands and advertisers to take into consideration. And over the last one year, that has become a critical component as we look at uh, search to be the uh, part of the uh, overall aspect. And one interesting part is actually tier two, tier three cities are the ones which are driving this. You uh, refer to those three Vs or, or it was, you know, uh, uh, from voice, vernacular and video getting as part of uh, the overall ecosystem and how uh, digital is evolving. And that's playing a big role in search uh, also, uh, the video or, or uh, the voice. Uh, that, that's something which is uh, getting part of the entire uh, the search system and then as we are sort of evolving. So that's that's one thing which is uh, definitely a big shift we are seeing over the last uh, one year. So, yeah, I think pandemic has for sure changed habits. I think uh, all of us, you know, do yeah. things very differently the way used to uh, we used to before, right? And and definitely there is an opportunity for brands out there to have and gain higher mind share, right? Uh, you know, of their consumers and users, right? And obviously there are other trends such as voice and vernacular, and then you know search happening outside of Google, uh, you know, e-commerce, social commerce. So all of that just accelerating the trend. Yeah. Uh, so I think uh, my next question to you, Anand, is that I think. Uh, the pandemic has, while we say that pandemic has accelerated digital adoption, right? People spending significant uh, uh, time on their personal devices, right? Which is which is leading to brands capturing more and more attention, uh, you know, uh, and they're vying for their consumers' attention actually, right? Through different digital uh, channels, right? And and then uh, that also reflects back uh, when I was mentioning that brands are now using search for 360 marketing funnel goals, right? So my question here is that how uh, you know any any recent I think we had the first festive season, uh, you know, last year, right? And this one is going to be, uh, you know, at least some learnings into the pandemic in terms of how, you know, uh, brands leveraged, uh, you know, advertising and search advertising as well, right? So any any recent campaigns that you have done where which stood out for you, uh, you know, where where innovative use of search happened, or or you know, any instances that uh, advertisers or marketers should keep in mind as they enter into the festive season this time. So uh, I would say I, I'm, I won't call out any specific uh, campaign specifically, but uh, you know, with IPL uh, coming in last year or earlier this year, uh, many advertisers or brands have used that uh, for, for targeting or reaching out to the consumers because I think that's smart uh, targeting. Uh, at Denso, we have Denso Marketing Cloud, which, which we do use for uh, getting those insights from the data that we are collecting. Entire, uh, Correlation is for advertisers or for brands. Actually, what's important to be effective in, in search also is getting their data right, the first party data, and then sort of using that for targeting your consumer in more effective manner and more efficient manner. So uh, we have Denso Marketing Cloud, which is our proprietary tool. Actually, we use that for gaining insights on uh, ensuring that you are reaching out to the right consumer and the right target audience at the right point of time. So you optimize the sales actually because e-commerce or your commerce transactions have moved uh, onto uh, net. Uh, you know, almost 75% of your internet consumption when we are speaking now is happening through mobile. That's when we keep on saying it's still PC and mobile, but at the same time, it's actually converting because the user is most of the time onto your handheld device, means be it uh, your uh, tablet or be it your phone. That's where the consumer has moved on to. And uh, I think targeting the consumer with that data point and then getting uh, across to the clients. So a few things which we have used is actually YouTube has become one of the uh, first uh, proponents because with video, uh, YouTube remains the first one. So at many of our clients' campaigns, we have done uh, work with ESPN or, or Citafil or, or uh, even uh, a few edutech clients. I think optimizing those videos, that has been quite useful. And that's something which has helped us actually uh, increase the awareness, increase the reach, increase the entire access and footfalls onto the client's websites and then getting that prominence for the clients and then uh, driving that forward. So video optimization is what I would say uh, has, has been sort of uh, quite, quite uh, relevant when we are speaking of current or, or a recent festive period or as we have seen during IPL period. Uh, 
for for search to sort of take that next level and within that again vernacular has been quite important because uh, beat on uh, amazon also or or uh, flipkart or where your people are transacting on there uh, what's getting important is your content which is delivered more through a local language my vernacular language when you look at the search or or uh, video consumption almost 50% 54% of of video or or content consumption is through uh, hindi as the largest followed by english and then it's your know, regional languages which follow uh, southern languages they large part in that actually so while you are targeting creating your content or reaching out your video optimizations i think keeping an eye on uh, that vernacular or reaching out to the right consumer and getting the right tools to sort of target means earlier uh, even uh, the danons presentation also mr bakshi when you were speaking about that uh, using the right tools for for uh, reaching out uh, to the right uh, consumer or the right audience i think that becomes important so using the data uh, right tools for uh, that purpose right content what we look at densu also is is actually uh, uh, ultimately advertising is ideas business right getting the right idea across to people but it ought to be uh, data driven and tech enabled so getting that right technology in when we are reaching out to the consumers for optimizing your search campaign i think that that gets uh, quite important and uh, the brands or advertisers who are able to do that uh, effectively and efficiently uh, that, that that's they are they are the ones who are gaining uh, during these uh, periods also and uh, those uh, two three campaigns which i mentioned we saw huge sort of uh, success and then sort of uh, turn around and that sort of replicates across uh, multiple platforms so that that's something which uh, gets quite important uh, so so i think at a broader level what i'm picking up is that data and targeting becomes uh, really really important for the brands to yeah. For a, right yeah and the content uh, is important uh, it has to be you know localized more uh, probably a lot more vernacular because the next next set of users that are coming online are going to be uh, you know not comfortable with english as their first preference right yeah. uh, then i think mobile uh, is the other big one which is which is going to be important and and brands really need to have a mobile first strategy and then of course optimization and and the right tools to kind of yeah. do all of this together yeah That's i think uh, great insights anand i think uh, my next question to you is i think we've spoken uh, and and you've covered like voice and vernacular but kind of you know uh, diving in that a bit more right how how do brands leverage search right with voice and vernacular coming in and the whole personalization becoming uh, you know really important as as we move ahead so how do brands connect uh, you know with their audiences to to build on these authentic personal experiences right uh whether it is through through you know uh you know it could be content right which is which plays in a crucial role right but how is how is voice vernacular and content going to play uh, how big that is going to play the the part in the next you know set of 100 million users that come on that it's 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 extremely important but at the core again what remains rohit is which i was saying earlier uh you know understanding your consumer so for that the first party data or having the right data sets with you and analyzing that data set with the right tools i think that that gets very important and that's where your uh, agency partners they come into play in uh, actually guiding you in the uh, right manner when when you are sort of going to target your consumers the voice vernacular or video when we are speaking about it's it's in a way uh, uh, where your consumer is and then you're going to target him uh, or her from that perspective one example i can give you is we had uh, uh, worked out or done for one of our clients actually uh, record uh, for the geezer Uh, the water heater brands actually so typically when people go and uh, search on uh, internet or it would be on amazon or, or google uh, you would uh, search for geezer but when i'm coming from a background where i don't know uh, uh, english so well people pronounce that in a different manner I means because when our team did the research it's pronounced geezer or uh, you would pronounce it geezer a or or uh, geezer geyser so when you're typing typically uh, uh, from a vernacular person i would type in more in uh, the way i uh, say the word and many of that gets lost when we did the research almost 1.3 million searches were lost because uh, you could sort of relate to that word so uh, we use them in the meta tagging uh, on amazon and in uh, other sites actually for the brand and then when we did the research almost 560 misspelled uh, spellings or misspelled words they are sort of generated almost 3.6 million searches so that's the power when you understand what or who is your consumer how he or she is thinking and then how you should go and uh, tweak your campaign or tweak the way you are sort of targeting them 
make some modifications. And these were quite simple insights, actually. It means it gives you great insight. So the research, the data point which you have with you, and then understanding your consumer completely. I think search, the beauty of search is over there, actually, that there, it lies in that as well, that uh, when you have the right tool sets, have the right understanding, and have the right uh, kind of data points, I think it helps you sort of build on your campaigns or build on your sort of uh, target audiences and get the conversion flowing through. And within that, as we are moving forward, as, as I'm moving more towards as a consumer, uh, mobile first or only mobile, uh, people have started using search commands on your Siri or your Amazon or on your Alexa or, or on Google. So the search commands are going through voice and then understanding what people are saying, how, how the pronunciation is going to be. The Indian pronunciation is going to be different from what uh, an American pronunciation is and then build your campaigns around that and train or, or sort of uh, use the meta tags appropriately so that you reach out over there and making your videos uh, or your content that much more relevant. Uh, some, somebody who is Hindi speaking or Tamil speaking or, or say Marathi speaking, he or she is going to understand the video or relate to the video uh, or what your brand is communicating with, uh, getting in, in his or own language. It's going to be all the more important and getting more and more people attracted uh, to what you are trying to convey. So I think that that gets important while search remains at the core, but using that in an innovative manner, which which uh, many of our brands are doing. And then, as I said, uh, uh, one of the examples was record, which I mentioned. So using that in the right manner, I think that is, is going to be the way for targeting those next 100 million, which you said are going to be there. They're there, they're waiting for you to get in the right manner and understand them and reach out to them. And then I think that that's how the brands and advertisers need to sort of look at. Yeah, I think, I think um, you know, uh, completely aligned to a point where uh, advertisers are missing sometimes on a lot of, uh, you know, queries that users are searching for because, because they're not comfortable with the language. So I think that yeah. technological advancement to, to kind of, you know, get these people online. And I think that is where vernacular and then probably speech, uh, text to speech and, and all these things yeah. are play a crucial part, you know, in search advertiser strategy as, as the next users come online. That's right. I think we have seen um, multiple brands ourselves, you know, miss out on, on a lot of, uh, you know, monetization activities possible, right, uh, within their campaigns because of, uh, you know, the keywords or the search queries not being there as a part of the campaign. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So I think that that brings us, uh, you know, to the end of this discussion. I, I think, uh, you know, it was really fun to have you uh, with us, Anand. Thank you for taking out time to to share insights on on the on the future trends of search advertising, and I think uh, you know ad marketers should definitely look out for some of these as we move into our peak quarters and festive season. And and I would also like to thank all the audience that has joined us for this session. Thanks, thanks, Roy. Take care and stay safe. Thanks. Yeah. See you. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. Uh, but before I let you go, I have some questions here that the audiences are dying to uh, be answered by uh, Anand. So if I can uh, indulge you in that. As a manager for content solutions providing brand, what are some of the tools in which I can optimize voice search to reach the right consumer to its full potential? So it's, it's again, based on uh, which sort of uh, tools you are referring to or, or understanding. It's, it's essentially for understanding the consumer, right? And uh, when you're reaching out. So uh, the tools, uh, if you can actually reach out to me uh, separately, maybe I, I can discuss that. I can sort of share that. Uh, it's, it's more from that perspective because it's not, I won't use this more from saying uh, A, B, C or in that perspective, but I think uh, I'm happy to sort of connect offline and then sort of uh, take that forward. But it's essentially more, as I said earlier, it's more understanding the consumer, how you're sort of, sort of using that and taking it forward. So it's not uh, calling out A against B or C actually for that matter. Right. Uh, another question that I have that uh, we'd be very happy if we can uh, give you two cents about uh, what do you think is the scope of voice search marketing for PT platforms specifically? Sorry, I missed the last. What was voice search? What do you think for? is the scope for of search voice search marketing for OTT platforms specifically? It is as as we were saying uh, in the last uh, part, right? Uh, that uh, I would say opportunity is tremendous because as people are using or as consumers and as viewers are using uh, the platforms and the capabilities which are getting built in, uh, the voice search gets more and more important because you're using smart remotes or smart, your phone, or you're using uh, the OTD platforms connected through your Alexas or, or through your Google and everything. 
So those search commands and using that word search platforms for that purpose are all the more relevant. Means people want to use the benefits or the more convenient it gets to uh, to your searches. That gets all the more important, and that's the potential is tremendous because then it just takes away the pain of typing it out or pain of sort of uh, understanding English as a language. Uh, vernacular users, or if I'm not comfortable with English as a language, there's no sort of post entry getting into the, your platforms as well and sort of doing that search. My language, what I understand with uh, voice search, you're able to sort of communicate with your platform. So uh, uh, potential is tremendous. And then that, that, I think that's where the next developments are obviously going to be. And then a lot of investment uh, is just needed over there. And I think, uh, Ramin, to add to this, right, I think inherently the way users are searching, the user is the same. So probably it's the same user searching across, um, you know, across different platforms. So whether it's OTT, it's e-commerce or just normal uh, search bars, right? I think since the nature of the user is the same, right, effectively search will play a cr crucial part uh, as more and more uh, content comes online and, and, you know, play an effective uh, part in the OTT uh, search strategy as well. Yeah, muted, Ravin. Ravin, I think uh, we have. Oh, yes, my bad. Uh, <laughs> so that's uh, one of the key factors in understanding how technology helps and also what you really need to be careful about while you're doing it, right? Okay, great. So uh, one question that I have here, or let me just quickly get to the question here, right? So what, with most brands trying to do a hyper-local and personalized messaging, how does a brand ensure that it's not adding to the clutter and standing out? So that's that's a good question, actually. But it's again understanding uh, who your audience is, your messaging, uh, what, what was said earlier, right? Your content or, or how you're sort of uh, getting across the messaging to the consumer. So when you want to stand out or being different from the clutter, when I said those three points which we look at at, at Densu as well, it's ideas led. What is the right idea that you're getting across? You're tech enabled and data driven. So you're getting the right messaging across to the right audience. You're not just sort of bombarding your, your audience with your messaging and the right message uh, curated in the right manner. I think those three things which we speak about that ideas led, tech enabled, data driven, getting to your consumer, that's going to be quite important. And then obviously use of uh, technology in uh, identifying that right uh, consumer, the, proper tools for getting that. Uh, I did mention about uh, one such tool which we have in some marketing cloud. So getting the insights and right optimization. So that gets important. So use of data, use of technology, and obviously uh, the right content being created for uh, getting across to your consumers. Uh, Rohit, can I, can I invite you in uh, to uh, extend yeah. that on, uh, sure. on the yeah. question a little bit? Yeah. So, uh... So I think understanding the customers, uh, you know, uh, around is important, right? I think if the profiling of those customers is important, then messaging, uh, you know, can be creative uh, given, you know, the, the variety of the audience that is there to be targeted, right? And then, you know, basis that there are multiple features available now. I mean, uh, you know, obviously voice and vernacular is going to come in, right? At some point in time, but then there are also, you know, extensions and, and a lot of features that search platform offers, right? In terms of targeting, I mean, you could have a call extension or a or a or a different image extension, et cetera, right? For for you know the users or or the brands to be kind of you know targeting their users more effectively. So I think identifying the users and understanding of the profile of the users or localizing better is important. And I think once you do that, then the entire strategy kind of you know revolves and defines around that. And then obviously I mentioned that data, uh, you know, uh, the data and insights around it, uh, you know, use mobile strategy. Uh, which is you know as the focus is on mobile right and then you know content all plugs in uh, together so yeah right so uh, i think i would like to thank uh, both of you for your valuable time and uh, it was a really interesting conversation and uh, some amazing insights there so thank you so much once again for being here with us thank you thank you